Hello, and I really appreciate you purchasing this reading about being single and how to prepare for a future in which you are not single. <clears throat> so our lives are based on our intentions. So because you are intending or you are like desiring or seeking to be in a relationship, it is showing up that it will in the future be there for you. So one of the things that you really need to focus on at the beginning is the belief that you will be in a relationship. Because the fact that you have intended for that and that you are looking for that means that the universe will bring that to you. So it is not a matter of, oh, my life is designated out in front of me and it, it might not happen. It will happen. If you are intending to be in a relationship, it will happen for you. The piece that you need to do in the puzzle of getting into that relationship is being in the vibration or the energy of the next right one or the next person who is coming into my life that I should be ready for. What does that look like? What do I want in my life? So it's not a matter of just... So basically it's like you're deciding to build a house and if you put together a blueprint and you have a decision of what it will look like, that is what it will end up like at when it is finished. So basically that message is telling you, hey, you're not in this trying to figure out if you will be in a relationship. The very fact that you have decided you want to be in a relationship, like once that is solidified in your thought process, you are then on the path. Now, I love the fact that you're getting this reading while you are single and you don't have anyone in mind because then you're just going to get in the vibration and the person who is what you want will match. So it's also going back to that blueprint. You can make changes along the way. You know, you can say, oh, I want an extra bedroom or, oh, I want that to be an office instead. And when it comes to relationships, what you're going to want to put together is a list of what you do want. So I want him to be punctual or I want her to be thoughtful or I want, you know, you're putting together a list that is so specific to what you are looking for. And then you are going to start doing those things. You are going to start being punctual. You are going to start being thoughtful. So when you put together that list, it's not necessarily just a list of what you want the other person to do. You have to start embodying those things so that you vibrate those things and bring in the person who is doing what you want to do. All right, so I just wanted to kind of pull the cards. I know you've gotten a reading from me before, so I know you're familiar with the fact that, you know, all the decks had been shuffled, but the cards were pulled specifically for you. So this question is, how can I prepare for a relationship? Am I ready for a relationship? What's blocking me? What energy should I focus on? And what is my current energy? Now, <clears throat> after this, we will pull the bonus cards that will give you even further information. So also keep in mind uh, when I use this camera, if the camera zooms in, we'll pull clarifying cards on any of those cards and get you further information. It's really interesting. I feel your excitement. I feel your happiness. I feel your contentment with being with yourself. Like you are a very happy person. It's very, your energy is very attractive. I can see that. Oh, I think what's actually happening for you is you are meeting people, but you are dismissing them. You are kind of feeling like, oh, people aren't going to really know how great I am. Like you do have higher self-esteem than most people, but you don't realize that other people are actually seeing that. Like they can feel your energy. So like kind of imagining yourself expanding that bubble of who you are to t to like be open to more people like you like me reading for you so your energy is open to me so I can feel it like you have said hey you know 
because I sent you a message and said, you know, I'll be in the energy of the situation and you gave me permission for that. You really opened up. And so you can definitely tell the universe, hey, I give permission to allow loving, caring, kind, thoughtful energy into my space. And open yourself up for that. I feel like a little bit in the past you've kind of been closed um, because of past pain and things you've experienced. So you've been protecting yourself. You can have a wider sphere of protection. So you're not, I'm not telling you, oh, go be vulnerable, be yourself, open up to everybody. No, I'm saying you have a really good protection around yourself. Just open it up a little bit more. Okay, so let's get started. How can I prepare for a relationship is showing up as the upright queen of pentacles. Now the queen of pentacles energy is resourceful and domesticated or domestic. Like they are able to take care of themselves. The queen of pentacles is so on point with being so independent that no matter who is coming in, it's not changing the lifestyle that that feminine energy is living in. So that feminine energy is basically like, because if you notice, and I mean, you know, I read gender neutral, but this man is on the floor. He's holding her foot. She's just really confident. You know, her back is straight. She has great posture and he's just worshiping at her feet. Like, you know, it's just that energy of being in divine feminine energy. And that is really going to prepare you for a relationship. Because when the other person comes in, regardless of who they are, they are just going to be enamored with you. And they're going to compliment that. They're going to be someone who's like, I give you this adoration and I think you can do it. They're going to be a cheerleader, uh, a good hype person, someone who definitely is looking at the situation and cherishing you for who you are and what you bring to the connection. So what you can prepare for that situation by, <clears throat> excuse me, being in that energy already, adoring yourself, saying, I'm so thankful I'm independent, etc., etc. So am I ready for a relationship? We're showing yes, joy. Making each moment joyful will ensure a wonderful adventure regarding of, regardless of the path taken or outcome. So yes, you are prepared for a relationship, which should definitely give you confidence. Like the cards are basically saying, hey, you know, there are always things that we can change, always things we can improve upon. We can always become better. So it's not saying, oh, you are all complete now. That's not how relationships work. We never really get into something as complete, perfect human beings. And likewise, we don't expect that the other person is in that state of total enlightenment, will never let you down, etc. Like, I don't know why I keep saying etc. But um, you know that human, as human beings, we're never finished. But we do know that you have gotten to the level where you are ready for a relationship. So it's kind of like being um, prepared. Basically, I feel for you that you are independent. You do take care of yourself. You're not looking for, oh, then when this person comes along, I'll find happiness. You already have it. So you're really going in a great trajectory for being in that space where the person's just going to walk in and it's just going to flow. There's not going to be any confusion. You're not going to be like, oh, what do you think we are? What do you think is going on? You're not going to be hope. You're just going to just connect with this person. And it's going to flow with the things that you've wanted, you're able to give, and etc. But you have to start doing that now. So then what's blocking you is showing as the reverse nine of swords. So the reverse nine of swords is about the fact that you have been in a state of recovery and healing for a while. So there were some relationships in the past that were not pleasant. You've had some situations that have been harmful, that have hurt you, that have made you tired that have just worn on your resources emotionally, financially. This There have been situations where people have drained you, not just romantic situations, <clears throat> but also just relationships in general. 
But I really sense that through that, the reason that you've kind of been stopped from getting in your next relationship is that the universe is like, hey, let's get everything prepared. Let's, instead of renting apartments, let's move into that building that you have the blueprint for. Let's get in that relationship that you've kind of been craving and wanting and desiring. You're preparing for that. And what you've been doing, even though it seems like you've kind of not been doing anything, you have been more productive in your rest and relaxation and connecting with yourself than you ever would have done like during, you know, therapy or which I feel like you have had some like, you know, counseling or someone who's been a really good listener that's kind of helped you with some of this. Like this is not something that happens on accident. <clears throat> this is something that you did work for. And I applaud you because you realized that there were things that you needed to do and, you know, kind of take care of. And that's definitely been a benefit for you. So what energy should you focus on? What is one of the energies? Wow, this is really cool. So I believe that happiness is where we create from. And this is happiness and self is the first block in a very sol solid foundation. So this is a really, to me, this is really exciting because especially because the whole reading of is about you and what should be happening for you to get to this different phase. Not even, I, I don't want to say like next level. I want to say different phase. It's parallel with importance to everything else that you have been doing. So getting in a relationship does not, is not like a graduation, like, Oh, I did all these. It's just a different choice of what you want to do next. And the wonderful part is that focusing on your own happiness is what I feel you've been doing. So it's really, you. this is not like a how do I start. It's just some of these things you're already doing. And I'm really happy for you. I'm happy for you because I feel that you finding that happiness in yourself is really propelling you to the next part that you want to experience. So then what your current energy is, is holding hands. Holding hands with your partner is a fun way to connect. Now, I feel like a little bit this is what you're um, kind of hung up on, or, or maybe it's something that's a little bit in the way. And this is the idea of without someone here physically with me, how am I going to feel loved and, and happiness? And you really can give that to yourself. You can have physical touch with yourself. You know, every morning when I wake up, I put lotion on my hands and I have this little dry patch on my forehead. You know, I just, I give myself that physical care. And there are a lot of things that you can do. You know, you can get a foot bath that massages your feet. Like, you know, I, I sense that the only thing that's kind of holding you back a little bit is the idea of, well, yeah, I can love myself and I can do nice things for myself, but how do I physically feel the presence of someone else? And as soon as you start doing those options to physically pay attention to your body, you'll start getting hugs when it's appropriate. You know what I mean? You'll start having that physical contact with people because, I mean, let's be honest, right now we're not even doing physical contact anyway. You know, so there are things that there may be needs that you need to focus on that you can give for yourself. You know, how do you offer yourself that physical touch right now? I feel that, that this is something that is really important to you. I feel that mentally it's something that you're kind of like focusing on. And it's um, your current energy is like, well... I could go all in with the idea of loving myself if I could just figure out this piece of what do I do physically. And you're still able to go in and give yourself mental, physical, emotional, and you can do this part of the physical part. This is also like eating good foods and drinking water and going on a walk. It is paying attention to the physical side of your humanity. Because I feel like you haven't really delved into like what to do for yourself physically that makes you still feel like you're getting that connection that you need. Awesome, awesome. I'm really proud of you. You're doing a great job. You do have happiness and joy that are really coming in there for you. You are definitely uh, close. You're very, very close. There are people who are coming into you 
and it is okay for you to have a list of things that you like and then when you see a person say oh they're happy they're kind they're this like start noticing these qualities in other people around you even like you know friends and family just you know you say oh well my such and such a relative is so kind when they call me or they wish me happy birthday or you know start noticing the qualities that you enjoy in other people because that will create the emotions in you that will allow for things to um, open up for you. Okay, so excellent. You are doing a really good job. That was the first part of it. And now we will go ahead and we will pull um, three bonus. Uh, these are romance oracle energies because energy is what we create with. And so these are going to answer just different questions that can almost be a little bit of like a Oops. All right, these three came right out. We'll need three, so we'll just give you these. So it's almost like um, kind of like homework, I guess you could say, or you know, things that you can do that can put you in the energy or focus that you're looking for. So the first one is focus on this now. So focus on caressing. Oh, see, once again, we're going into that physical side of you that that needs that feeling of human touch but if I take my one hand and I touch my other hand I am getting human touch you can you can help yourself with this I know it will feel kind of a little bit awkward at the beginning it did for me it was weird for me at the beginning and then I started being like oh I never noticed how smooth my skin was here or oh I need some lotion here you know so <clears throat> for caressing it says your partner will enjoy the feeling of your hands on their skin. And I, I do feel that that's something that you are already in the energy of. So focus on it and give yourself that, um, that piece that your brain feels is missing so that you will feel complete. And then letting go of this, which says companionship. Companionship is a fun aspect of the best relationship. So letting go of this for now and saying, well, there has to be a human physical being next to me for me to get this physical touch. You know, kind of let go of that. I feel that that is the one thing that is kind of um, holding your brain back a little bit from letting you fall completely in love with yourself. So then the third one is journal how you feel about this offer of love. Newly beginning love, a new partner will into your life. Wow, that's so cool. So follow me here. <clears throat> you know, I've been kind of saying to you, I feel that maybe you're not sure of what it's going to feel like when this person comes in. You're not sure of how it feels to be. I'll tell you. I've been in this relationship and I've really been enjoying myself. And he's, I said to him the other day, do you see me as a friend? And he said, oh, I see you as more than a friend. And I have to tell you, I was a little bit in shock. I couldn't figure out at first what my emotion was. At first I felt confused and I was like, no, I'm really not confused. I know what he said. I know what he means. I feel a little shocked that someone would feel about me that way. And I feel that it would be beneficial for you to journal how you feel or what you think about the future would look like with this person coming in and giving you that offer of love. What does it feel like for you to hear the words, I love you, I've been looking for you, you're someone who I always knew was out there. And then what does it feel like when that person starts doing kind things for you and showing up when they say they will and doing thoughtful things for you and putting gas in your car and helping you do the things that cause you to feel alone. Like for me, you know, I do live by myself and I do take care of my own bills and I pay for everything and I do all the cleaning and, and sometimes it would, I do think, well, it would be nice to have that person who that was complimentary in our lives kind of helped each other because it does get a little bit daunting to be the one who does everything. So one of the things that I've been thinking about when it comes to like that feeling of offer of love is, you know, if I, what does it feel like when I have someone else do this? And then I started paying someone to clean my house. Because I realized how 
much I did need help, you know. So anyway, my, my thought with journaling about how you feel is that I think you need to kind of put your blueprint together of what you actually do want with the understanding that absolutely 100% you can put together a blueprint and meet the person who you pull the paper out and you're like, whoa, everything is there. But you, I feel your kind of like homework or focus work or journal, whatever, would be what does it feel like for me to accept an appropriate, loving, healthy, kind offer of love that is meant for me and is a gift from the universe. Now, keep this in mind too because I feel like I need to bring this to your attention as well. When you're making that blueprint, there's not just, there's way more than just one. Way more than just one. Because if you think about housing, you know, like blueprints, you could have a whole entire neighborhood that looks like that. Don't get, don't start thinking of scarcity or small numbers, or I have to find the one. Think of it as I'm going to put my blueprint together and there's going to be so many people that fit this blueprint that I can be perfectly content with whoever comes in and I can kind of just, you know, do a, uh, an open house. Let me ask you questions. Let me talk to you and get to know you. I haven't decided if I want to move in yet or build the house yet. I get to make those choices because really the universe will bring you what you're looking for. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much once again for letting me read for you. And I look forward to reading for you again.